There are two types of uh, kidney diseases. One is called as an acute kidney disease or an acute kidney injury, and the second type is called as a chronic kidney disease or a chronic kidney injury. Acute kidney diseases are uh, wherein the time span of duration for the occurrence of the kidney damage is uh, within few weeks or few days or few hours and usually majority of the time if it is identified and treated early it is curable or it is reversible. The renal functions return to or the kidney functions return to normal. Whereas in chronic kidney diseases it is a irreversible kidney damage and it happens over a span of a few months to years and chronically this accumulated uh, damage one fine day will lead to a total kidney failure wherein patient will have to be dependent on renal replacement therapy or a kidney replacement therapy. When I mean kidney replacement therapy, it may be either a dialysis or a transplantation. The common causes for the chronic or irreversible kidney diseases all over the world are diabetes, number two hypertension, uh, number three is uh, what we call it as a uh, chronic glomerulonephritis, the inflammation which happens in the kidneys and the other causes are like uh, recurrent kidney infections, stones, inherited uh, disorders of the kidney and uh, analgesic or painkiller abuse or a drug induced uh, kidney diseases. Chronic kidney disease is called as a silent killer that is because majority of the times uh, unless more than 90 to 95% of the kidneys are damaged there will be no symptoms at all. That means to say in the initial stages of a kidney injury when say about 10%, 20% or 30% of the kidneys are damaged so there will be no telltale signs of uh, uh, the kidney disease per se. Almost 90% of the people will be asymptomatic that will they will have no symptoms at all. Very rarely people may develop in the advanced stage uh, symptoms like swelling of the legs, facial puffiness, uh, alteration in the urinary pattern, uh, loss of appetite, vomitings, itching and altered sensorium and these symptoms. But by the time the patient develops these symptoms, it will be quite late for us to recognize or identify the kidney disease just based only on the symptoms. So for that, we need to have a preventive or a regular health checkup in a high-risk individuals.